Pakistanis are heading to the polls to elect a new parliament. 44 parties are competing for a share of the 266 seats in the National Assembly, with a further 70 seats reserved for women and minorities. If no party wins an outright majority, then the one with the biggest share of Assembly seats gets to form the new coalition. The next administration has a long to-do list. They need to repair the economy, fix crumbling infrastructure, improve ties with the Taliban in neighbouring Afghanistan. But in reality, the run-up to the election has been dominated by the exclusion of Imran Khan. He's the country's most popular opposition figure, but he's in prison for a number of charges, corruption, breaking marriage laws, and revealing state secrets. The two main parties in the race are the PMLN from three-time former Premier Nawaz Sharif and his rival, Bilawal, ben Bilawal Bhutto Zardari, who leads the PPP. There have been outbreaks of violence in the northwest and southwest of Pakistan. On Wednesday, at least 30 people were killed in a pair of bombings in southwestern Balochistan. And even on polling day, five police officers were killed in the northwest of the country. There have also been allegations of an uneven playing field, pre-poll rigging, and voters have been complaining about their difficulty in casting a vote for Imran Khan's party's candidates.